YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be diving into the process of creating a custom API in Power Apps. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest videos. In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a custom API using the Power App Studio. Let's get started. When creating a custom API, it's important to use a solution associated with a publisher. The publisher will have a specific customization prefix that you will need to use when creating your custom API. Let's look at how to set up the custom API in Power App Studio. In your solution, click New and select More and then select Other. From the drop down menu, choose Custom API. Edit the fields to set the properties of your custom API, making sure to use the customization prefix associated with the publisher. Once you've set the values, click on the Save button. Next, let's create a request parameters that your custom API may require. These parameters allow you to pass necessary data for your logic, although you can go without any of this. But if you need to, here's how you can create them in Power App Studio. In your solution, click on the new button and then select more and then other. Choose custom API request parameter from the drop down menu. Edit the fields to set the properties of your request parameter and click on the save button. Note that it's important to define res response properties for your custom API, especially if it presents a function. These properties determine the data that your API will return. Let's see how to define response properties in Power App Studio. In your solution, click on new and then select more and then other. Choose custom API response property from the drop down menu. Edit the fields to set the properties of your response property and click on the save button again. Now that you've created your custom API, it's time to test it out and ensure that it is working correctly. Even if you haven't set a plugin type yet, you can still test it to verify if the results are correct. Let's see how to test your custom API in Power App Studio. Try calling your custom API and check if it returns the expected results. Keep in mind that any response properties will return their default values such as now. If you want to enhance the functionality of your custom API, you can write a plugin. Let's see how to update the custom API with a plugin type in Power App Studio. First, register your plugin using the plugin registration tool. Once your assembly is registered, set the plugin type value for your custom API by selecting the appropriate plugin type that represents your registered assembly. After setting the plugin type, you can test your custom API to ensure that it returns the correct results. And that's it. You've learned how to create a custom API in Power Apps. We've covered the process of setting up the custom API, creating request parameters, defining the response properties, testing the API, and even enhancing its functionality with a plugin. Custom APIs in Power Apps gives you the flexibility to extend your application and interact them with external systems. Thank you for watching this video on creating a custom API in Power Apps. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, 